afternoon. Um, another weekly update. This will be my third. So, um, well, last time, as you can see, I was um, way to start doing some uh, Bengal answers. And I'm happy to see if I can get these in the shot. Get the light behind it. I finished them. Just need based up. I think they've come out okay, but um, I didn't really enjoy painting them. To be fair, as I've said before, Perry's you've got a lot of work to do for him before you start painting them. But they've come out quite well, I thought. Although I didn't enjoy them <laughs> painting them. Um, I was going to put the pennants on, but get make pennants, but I don't think I'm going to bother. They were, um, it doesn't look quite right with the pennants, I think. The ones I made anyway. So, so I've got the 12 of them. Uh, as you can see, oh, um, let's get the officer. Okay, there's the officer. He came out quite well. Let's see, I think it's such a bit of hmm. As you can see, 12 that you've done. Just basically, a light, I think I used a light tone wash over the top of them, I think it was. Yeah, it was light tone. As you see, what's on the bench for this week is more American Civil War. Near enough finished these, the two battlefields in the box. So I'll probably get them. Uh, undercoated tomorrow. I've also cleaned off some uh, American War Independence um, British, sorry, from Perry's. So, quite like that one. And we've also got another one, sort of basically observing the battle, I think. Quite like that pose. And then the other one. Basically, given the orders. Yeah, it's quite nice. Um yeah, so I've got I got actually this morning some stuff came through the post, but I know a lot of people seem to do YouTube and seem to it's driven by a lot by, by, by unboxing, but, um, well, I've got the stuff and I'll show it anyway, and see what you think. I've got this thinking book come through. Some people like this stuff, some people don't. I'll see how this goes on this camera. And I've got this come through, the post. It's basically a book on British uniforms. Uh, let's see if you can see it. You can see that. Not the best. Wait a minute, let me move the camera. And you can see that's better. So I picked this up for six quid from Biblical Books. Some of the books, Funkin books can go for some ridiculous amount of money. But this one was only six quid. It used to be a library book. Believe it or not. 75p. Like it because it's got all the facings and uniforms so it'll be handy for well doing my 15 millimeter Marlboro probably that I've still got to do and yeah if you're into mitre caps this is your thing um, just fucking through there and then it'll be useful right up until Napoleonics as well so it says but to be fair to the book if you go through it, there's not that many. Oh, sorry. There's not that many. About that. There's not that many um, Napoleonic on it. But that would be good for me that independence as well. So, if you can pick up the cheap copy, I'd certainly see it's with a slight. Um, it's worth it. British infantry uniforms from a Marbert Welton. Really. I think it's Leanne and Fred Funken. 
so you see it. Um, also looking through, I don't know, I saw this on Facebook and um, it's not cheap. <laughs> um, it's uh, Guy in um, Holland, it's Dutch and he's um, produced these rules. I think they were, they were um, I was reviewing them in the Wargame Soldier and Strategy start of the year, well last year now um, and I saw these on Facebook and thought oh I'll maybe try these I think it's called Bell Ludi, I looked at the information in the book and basically I think what it translates to in Italian, Latin sorry is basically war game, strategy game the book's not that big and it's only 17 pages but it's designed for introducing people into war game and I've never war game before. But I got them from Cavalier and they're and if you get them on their site, they're in Euros. They're, they're no cheap with the but you get the cards and you get two dice, but it's twenty seven quid. Um I'll just see if I can take you through but they're kinda of based on black powder, so I thought well I can kinda of adapt these for black powder so they're basically for 1700 1900 but they've also got a um, medieval ancient one so I'm not I might consider getting them and basically the rules you read them in about 20 minutes and that's the rules that's basically the rules there yeah. And that's basically a quick reference sheet. But basically they're a, they're a kind of copy of... Um, get that again. Oh, wait a minute. oh God. I get used to using this camera. And they're basically similar to black powder, I would say. don't know if it's intentionally done that. But basically, this is the dice you get for movement. These are quite good. I'm, I might... If I do play back, play to use these. So basically, if you get a B, as you can see that there, that's a blunder. A zero means you get no movement at all. And then there's ones, twos, and threes that you can see on the dice, and that gives the represent movement. So you roll them for your movement, decide what you're going to do, and it's determined by the dice. I think it's a good idea, actually. And then the blunder. So you get two, set, you get two sets. Well, Dice. And then, then you get these event cards. So this, I've read this, the information on it, and basically there's um, there's negative cards, positive cards, and then cards that can negate it. And basically, dish these out per brigade. So it's like remove one wound, like some of the cards, let's see. They could not hit an elephant at this distance. One battalion is six inches further than normal. <laughs> the reference to American Civil War commander there. Um, I think. Uh, your officer to play such decadence that he's brought his personal carriages instead of the artillery. Until the commander's cards played your brigade will have to do without his artillery. So there's some quite nasty cards but then they can be nullified if you get a commander's card um, truffles the brigadier has sent one battalion squadron looking for truffles one battalion disorder so I think these cards are really good I think even if you decided not to play that melody and play and I do play black powder these would work really well with it you know what I mean so yeah so for the cards yeah it's probably worth it so um, but as I say, it's kind of pricey. Anyway, I think that's it for now. Um, I will do an unboxing of. I've got some Team Yankee stuff that came through because I believe um, Team Yankee are going to put the prices up very shortly. Well, I say Team Yankee, I mean Battlefront, Flames of War Battlefront. Are going to put the prices up? So um, I bought some more Team Yankee stuff. So um. If I get a chance tomorrow, I'll unbox it, do a quick unboxing. And if not, I'll um, see you next week. Cheers. Bye.